and welcome to my 26th week pregnancy update. I always forget what week I'm in because I swear it feels like only yesterday that I was filming like my 12th week pregnancy update and things like that and now suddenly I'm like 26 weeks in. It's actually crazy like it's really really mental and this is my first video filming in a different room because the room that I used to filming basically is now the nursery so I've had to move rooms um this room that my desk is in and all my filming stuff is in is basically of our like our bigger spare bedroom because we have a three bedroom house and there's only two of us so um but we've decided to put the baby in the smaller bedroom first because it's closer to our bedroom and it just makes sense to be in a smaller room to start with because we just don't want to have to fill a room up because there's not a lot of baby things you need really um, but then when they start getting like bigger furniture and things like that then we'll move them into this room so it's really weird for me and it just feels really weird to like be filming and looking at basically loads of junk behind me but um, that's fine I will hopefully do a like nursery tour soon we've not quite finished it yet though so I think I'm gonna wait for it to be finished and then I'll show you what we've done so um, without rambling too much I kind of want to get into the symptoms that I've had in my 26th week there's not too much to talk about so hopefully this video is going to be quite short and sweet for you um, but yeah it feels really weird I, t I know I say so at the beginning of every video but these weeks now are beginning to go so so quickly that it's actually scary like it's beginning to get quite scary so without further ado let's get into how I've been feeling this week I'm technically only well I'm now in my 27th week because I'm looking back on the past week but when you turn 26 weeks you're only two weeks away from your third trimester which I remember like going into my second trimester and feeling like such a sense of accomplishment because obviously the first 12 weeks are such a worrowful time like you just are so anxious that something might go wrong and things can go wrong so easily then and um, so to hit this milestone is so huge but I feel like the closer I'm getting to my third trimester and I feel like as soon as I hit my third trimester that's when I'll start thinking about the birth a lot more and probably preparing myself for it like mentally um kind of understanding the process and start thinking actually about my birth plan so to think that that's only a couple of weeks away is really petrifying I always said when I hit kind of 30 weeks I will probably start packing a very light hospital bag just in case something happens at any point from 30 weeks onwards um but the majority of it will be packed kind of in a few weeks after that but I kind of want to have the bare essentials in a bag somewhere so should anything happen obviously touch wood nothing does I've got something to grab so yeah I'm only a couple of weeks away from hitting that what seemed like so long away um it's kind of rearing up very very quickly so the weirdest thing about this week is that the average weight of baby is around two pounds I feel like as soon as I hit the pound start like in terms of weight that's when again you can start visualizing how formed your baby is because you know when they're born they could be anywhere like you know babies do vary in size but you to be two pounds into what could be like a six pound baby an eight pound baby all of those things are quite normal um so i'm two pound they're two pounds developed already into that so that's really really weird it's just an alien concept that there is a two pound baby inside of me um and obviously i'm showing it's just it's weird like two pound babies are like fully formed babies they're just very very tiny so to know that that's kind of like inside of me right now it's so weird am i the only person that finds pregnancy like the strangest thing um it's just mental that that's in there and everything else has kind of moved away i don't know i know we're like made to literally have babies but i don't know there's something about it that just makes me feel a little bit weird like you just don't really realize it um but yeah um and then in this week for baby the eyes will begin to open as they practice and they practice swallowing around this time so that's two again huge developments um obviously their eyes are beginning to open so that they kind of know how to do that and things like that and they practice swallowing as well which again is just so 
weird to think that there is like a little person that is doing these things for the first time inside of you and obviously we've had the 4D scan but we don't know what this baby like truly looks like and but they're hitting these little development points which is really nice when you start kind of gearing towards the end of your pregnancy or the end third of your pregnancy because to start hearing that you know these little things are happening it just fills you with so much more I guess less dread that if should something happen you know that they're a little bit more prepared um, for the outside world again touch wood should something happen and you know they've got more of a chance now than they did last week of surviving if I went into labour at kind of 27 weeks or whatever but all is good hopefully so um yeah that's kind of how baby is and in terms of size as well I will touch on that because I'm sure that I am still in the papaya size which I think this is my second from last I've got 26 so I've got 27 weeks and then 28 weeks and it moves on to the next fruit according to the pregnancy plus app but yeah I'm still a papaya and um, so nothing's changed from last week but obviously the baby itself will be growing a little tiny bit but it's really packing on the pounds now in terms of like fat so kind of baby they don't grow lengthways as much as they were kind of before because they're beginning to really develop fat so there's only like two things really to kind of mention as well um i've been stuffing with really really bad skin this week and throughout the whole pregnancy i felt like i've got away with having bad skin and stuff like that for the whole time and i've been again a little bit naive to the whole thing but i've been finding that this week the foundation that i've been using for weeks and weeks and weeks that is in my project pan video i'm really trying to use that up and i've had no problems with it so far but now when i put it on my skin it just does not stay on my skin it's like something has changed over the last couple of days that like nothing will sit on it very well um it makes my skin look super dry and like flaky yeah i've never had dry skin in my life um if you don't know i have like an oily skin type so to have dry patches and dry areas and actual dry skin is so weird um it's really really bizarre and around my chin like you probably can't tell because I do have some makeup on but when I take my makeup off um, I basically have this like rash around my chin which is really difficult to like disguise when I wear makeup but that's developed over the last couple of days and it is around kind of my mouth um, so I've had a little look into that and I'm going to bring it up in my next midwife appointment but having a look online it's kind of to do with hormones and stuff so I've been putting a lot of E45 cream on because see with a rash it tends to be a lot drier and I find that E45 cream is the only thing that works for me when like if you have like really dry elbows or something I always use that to make them feel better so I've just been putting that on my chin and it's been helping in terms of the dryness but the redness is still there so that's kind of something new I suppose and something quite annoying but really it's kind of my whole face has also become a lot drier and yeah makeup is just not sitting well on it and I'll get to work at like nine o'clock and I'll go like to the toilet I'll look in the mirror and I just think my makeup looks like I've been wearing it for the whole day but I've literally just got to work and I just hate that like when I see my skin like that I just want to wash it all off because I just feel like it looks really really horrible so I've got some other foundations that I'm not currently in my project pan but I have in my makeup drawer so I'm going to give a couple of them a go and I'll let you know next week if anything works a little bit better. But yeah, that's been a real pain. The other thing to note from this week is that I have been having really, really bad cramps of a night time. I'm not sure if I mentioned this in last week's video. I literally cannot remember. My baby brain is ridiculous. Um, but throughout the day, I'm fine. I don't get cramps really at all. Um, I might get like a little twinge, but it's never like a cramp. But as soon as I go to bed, when I try to sleep, I literally have like shooting cramp down my leg. It's At the moment it's just one leg. But yeah, I've been having cramp in this one leg and it's so annoying, like it wakes me up of a night. Um, I've been tossing and turning and I'll just wake up like 20 minutes later with another shooting pain. And if you stretch your toes out and stuff, that's supposed to help, but it doesn't 
really like it helps relieve it then and then it'll just come back and then keep coming back and keep coming back which is one of the most frustrating symptoms I've had so far because at least with morning sickness like I felt sick I was sick and then I was fine like five minutes later but with this it's affecting my night's sleep and I know like when baby comes um I'm not going to get much sleep but it's really annoying now because obviously I'm still in the routine of work and it's just so so annoying so my when I went to my midwife appointment that it was like with another midwife not my own I touched on that in last week's video um but she basically said to drink tonic water which I don't like tonic water like on its own um but Tesco actually sell tonic water with lime and tonic water with lemon so that is really good and the lime one is my favorite so I can drink that like easily so I've been trying to drink that on her recommendation but I'm not actually finding that it's helping all that much um and I was also recommended to drink bitter lemon um I can't remember what the kind of ingredient is called but it begins with a Q um I'm sure it does and it's in like bitter lemon as well as tonic water so that again you can get where tonic water normally is in a supermarket so I normally get mine from Tesco just because I have a Tesco like literally around the corner from me and um yeah I've been trying to drink as much of that as possible in the hope that it works it hasn't been doing so so far um but you can only try these things like when I mentioned to my midwife I don't that she didn't seem to suggest anything else to help with them so I'm not sure if you guys have also been struggling with those and if you found anything specifically helps please do let me know because I am so in need of like a better night's sleep it's ridiculous um but yeah that's kind of all that's really happened this week I feel like I'm you know not a lot happens week to week at the moment but I feel like I'm gonna get to a point where like loads happens in a week and these videos are gonna get so much longer but for now where I can keep them shorter I will do so so I hope that you've enjoyed this video and it's been informative if you're about to start your 26th week of pregnancy how exciting it's you know we're really really close to the end now it's almost scary um and like 11 weeks time Will be full term which is insane so i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have be sure to give it a like don't forget to subscribe if you like pregnancy updates and obviously i'll kind of keep you up to date with the whole process and it's kind of scary how quickly it's coming along um but yeah i hope you guys really enjoyed this and i'll see you guys in my next video bye